Previously on Moe's Rants. Jay Smith said, Rock went camping with no gear. Facts. Rock went out there with the turtleneck on. Rock said, fuck all that. Let's be real. Rock out there. Hey, Rock out there styling. Dominique looking through the window. Kane is spitting his pimping. Rock out there in the turtleneck. Rock out there in the turtleneck. I ain't got no turtleneck. I ain't got no turtle deck with that much quilt on it. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot. Hey. You know, when you buy your bed sheet, you get the cheap stuff. That's all you can afford at that time. It's like 100 thread, 300 thread. No, 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 no. Rock pulled up with that Egyptian thread. She talking about 1,800 thread count. I said, Rock, I know you didn't just pull up to a campsite with them motherfucking Louis Vuitton boots on, them pants showing that thing behind you, but we paying attention to the show. In that 1800 Egyptian thread count, rock over here. Look, I brought y'all. Oh, I can make a mouth. I'll tell you one thing. I ain't gonna get myself real. Let this motherfucker body in the trunk. I'm about to take Kane in there. You're gonna get the game. You're gonna bury this body. You're gonna be a part of that motherfucker organization. Thomas family don't quit, nigga. You can't and start, nigga. You Defcon son. Defcon told us how to make the motherfucking more golden present. Yeah. The only thing is, where I'm from, you niggas don't eat graham crackers. We eat rich crackers. We eat the saltine crackers. We won't eat the goddamn graham crackers. Graham crackers cost more than everything. We can't afford no goddamn graham crackers. But Rock getting that money off the street. So she over here thinking, when Kanan get back, man, I'm about to tell this little nigga, look, straight up. Lulu acting like a bitch. Kanan, I want you to be in the gang. I want you I want you to know that the empire that's on is yours. I said, damn, Rock, you want some other shit. But at the end of the day, Rock is still, he regular just like us. So when she's sitting down here, y'all heard the recap. We got Jimmy in the woods. When your ass gets scared, what you do? Who there? Hello? Who there? Yeah, you start talking louder so you can try to get the attention of someone else. Say if I'm doing all that, help. Somebody walking by is going to hear that. So that's what Rock is doing right now. Jimmy in there with that thing with the silencer on. Jimmy ain't giving a fuck. Jimmy is doing exactly what Sal needs doing. Jimmy is making sure that we don't cause no problems by taking out no kids, no innocent people. Jimmy is a very respectable mob figure. And he's following by the rules 100%. You know what I'm saying? Tony Montana got killed. Why did Tony Montana get killed? Let's be real. Because he didn't blow up that car because it was women and children there. We don't do that. So Jimmy is a very, very respectable character when it comes to the mob because he's following the rules 1,000%. Even if that means I got to knock off my boy, my boy Dominique, if I got to kill him. We're going to talk about them in a minute. But Jimmy is a respectable character. Whether you like him or not, Jimmy is 1,000% following the rules. 100, hey, it don't matter. I'm not going to deviate. No detours here. This is what the rule book said. We swore in. We took this oath. This is what we're going to do. So I respect Jimmy. That, and, and what that's saying is don't fuck up around Jimmy. You can be cool with Jimmy. As long as you don't do no silly shit to mess up nothing, Jimmy's not going to tell on you. Jimmy's not going to hurt you. Jimmy is going to be real. Now, if it's something that messes up the money, makes the boss look bad, messes up the organization, Jimmy's going to kill you. And Jimmy is about the, the code. Not personal feelings. Jimmy is real. Jimmy would take three, four life sentences for Sal, but we're going to talk about it in a minute. But I like Jimmy. Y'all understand. I can respect somebody like that. Encouraging that graham crackers with green, I mean, cream cheese. Graham crackers with cream cheese. I don't eat cream cheese. Let's be clear. I eat graham crackers. I'm saying growing up, all we ate was Ritz or saltines. We couldn't afford graham. Y'all know it was five. It was five kids, right? Plus, at any time, it was two cousins. So it was like seven people in my house. We couldn't afford all that stuff, man. So when we grew up, it was eight. You know what I'm saying? Not saying we were like below the poverty level. I'm just saying my dad is a country from Virginia. So my dad went to a segregated high school. Like he went to segregation all his life and then he got drafted and went to the war. So 
So the way we grew up was a little bit different. I've had graham crackers. I'm just saying we didn't buy that on the regular. You know what I'm saying? To make s'mores, we only went camping two official times in my life. And both times I told y'all it was with a, like an organization. They paid for that shit. You think when me and my brother and Peaches, our first, I'm well, not our first dog. Our first dog was Angel. Our Peter Angel, she died. She had ringworms. I mean, not ringworms, but fucking the worms the dogs get. I forgot about it. But that's before we do all that. I told you my dad was country. We didn't go to the veterinarian. We didn't know none of that back then. My dad was country. When you had a dog, you tied a dog up to the tree. We didn't know. But yeah, when we were growing up, we had the tents. We had the tents. You think my mom and dad were giving us s'mores, let alone letting me and my little brother make a fucking fire in the backyard? Last time, me and my brother, like, real talk, me and my brother made a fire in the backyard one time. We took all the like the, the leaves and the sticks that had fell from the tree. We put all of them in the pile and we lit that shit on fire. Tell me why the next person, uh, the next door neighbor, damn, I forgot her name too. She was a cool lady too. She didn't care. We played in her backyard and stuff. Like we hopped the fence. And she didn't care. But she called the police. That fire was out of control, man. We almost like behind our old house, it was a tall ass tree and we made the fire up under there. The flames were touching the leaves. If that motherfucking tree would have caught on fire, do you not know our house would have caught on fire? Because the, the back of the tree went to the back of the house? Man, you think my parents are giving us s'mores after that shit? Hell no. We used to like fireworks in our backyard. Motherfucking, uh, I don't even know what you call it, a little bottle rock. We put it on a little piece of like wood and we would shoot it to the house behind us. Tearing the house up. That motherfucker hitting the walls. You wake up in the morning, they got like a little goddamn Firework marks on the wall from the little black dust. Yeah, that's what we were doing. You think my parents were giving us graham crackers to make a goddamn s'more in the backyard? Hell no. Listen, me and my brother, we we were restricted from a lot of shit that other kids had going on. <laughs> we were very restricted. No, my dad didn't like. My dad barely eats wrist crackers. My dad, like, he liked them saltine crackers. Man, he be eating them big dry motherfuckers. Like, Damn, dad. He be going through one whole goddamn bundle. But, man, we supposed to be talking about the goddamn show. We talking about my damn pop. Shit, speaking of my pop, was it 22? My dad would be 72 years old in four, no, what is it, 11? My dad would be 72 years old in nine days. Nah, I cannot want no business. I was just a little kid just fucking living. I, mean, I tell you, I can give y'all a whole bunch of stories of me as a kid, but let's get back to the show, man. Let's get back to the show. Let's get focused. Let's get focused. <laughs> hey, Nikki, yeah, I, I like fire. I ain't gonna lie to you. Fire, fire, fire. I love fire, man. Yeah, I love fire. So my pops would be 72. What is what is uh what is the 20th? The 20th is Tuesday. I might go live. I might bring my dad on here one time. Y'all hear me talking to my mama all the time. I'm gonna bring my dad on here one time. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh this is the live after show discussion for Raising Kane in episode five, season two. Right now the mob is hunting down on rock and she's scared. She's in the woods. By herself, the Canaan went to go get another drink. But Canaan got caught up in Hannah's thirst trap. So he's not quenching his physical thirst. He's quenching his mm -hmm, sexual thirst. Jimmy's out here. He's watching. He's like, all right, so I need you to run interference. Make sure that Canaan is out the way because I'm not killing kids. We know that Jimmy is a legit monster. He's getting ready to draw down on Rock. Rock thinks she's hearing some noise in the woods. And you know, hey, anything, any noise you hear, you know, like, I, like I said, I don't camp. So for me, that's going to be very dangerous. You can't be walking through the woods without like an orange vest or something on. I got to know who you are. Silver, green. I told y'all at all times, I keep my, yeah, I keep my reflection bell right there. Y'all think it's just there. I, I got all kinds of, hey. 
It's just the way I am, man. I don't know. We can say the military messed me up because, dog, uh, I'd be prepared for anything. Like I say, I got that reflector belt there. I got my ear protection back there. I got my gloves. I got my gas mask right there. What else I got? I got a few things. But you better be walking through that woods with a reflector on. Shit, nigga. If I hear any kind of like, damn bear, what kind of animals they got out here? Fucking cougar? I'm being prepared. The rock, he's very, very scared right now. And she's talking, Tana Stark, she called his first and last name. That's how scared she was. But that was also to let people know that, hey, if something happens, I'm looking for a cane and start. You see what I'm saying? That's how scared she is. She's giving these little. Hey, y'all, I'm out here looking for cane and start. I don't know where my son is. Cane, if you're going to pop out on me and scare me, you need to think twice about it because I'm not scared. So Jimmy's supposed to. We got silence on him. He's supposed to empty the clip on him. But he doesn't because a man and his son. Now, this kid looks Asian. I was looking at the kid. I said, man, this kid looks Asian. There ain't no way that this is this man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, damn, your grandma's 72? Nigga, you must be young, nigga. My dad had me old, though. So my dad had me at 30. My dad had me at 35, and then he had my brother at 38. So. I look at it like this. I'm 37. I'm a year behind my pops when he had my youngest brother. See, my dad's still active. See, when we were growing up, I mean, he's, I mean, yeah, he was cool. So, yeah. All right, I got a year. I got a, I got two years before I have me a kid. But until then, we're going to be talking about power. And I thought this kid was Asian. He's like, oh, my bad, my bad. We just showed up. We didn't have enough skin to make our, our own fire. Basically, we're saying more stuff. We could be out of spark. I can't make no fire. I'm not going to lie to you. Can any of y'all make a, like, look, let's be real. Can any of y'all make an actual fire? You go outside with two sticks, a flat one, and then one to get that friction. Can you start a fire like that? Be real, because I show the hell can't. I can do it with the, the sparker. I can do that. Take the lint off of your sock. Yeah, I can do that. Mrs. Mrs. CJ said Sasquatch is shit in them woods. Yeah, you got to be prepared at all times out here. We in the middle of the woods. And not only that, we got a body on us. Like, when people commit crimes like this, it makes you wonder. It really does. It makes you wonder, what are you thinking going through this? Like, let's just, let, let's just take power away from this real quick. When you be hearing those true crimes, real stories, and people do this, they'll go out there, they take a camping trip, and they chill, they hang out, and then like, two in the morning they go and bury your body. What was going through your head to make you think that this was going to work? What was going through your head to make you think, I don't need to come out here with a gun to be prepared because you're already committing a life sentence? You see what I'm saying? The rock out here, she's smoking, they chilling, she hanging out. So what if she didn't get good with Keenan? What if the conversation that we're about to talk to next, after Keenan gets caught, never happened? She was going to have to dig this hole by herself? Or she was just going to say, hey, Keenan, come and help me? And think that Keenan didn't know what a dead body was? Like, what goes, what, what, what is in the thought process when it comes to that? Damn, rock. You are really a cold-hearted individual. You told Katie we were going out here for a mother and son trip just to turn out. You got him buried in a body? And, and then lying and telling him that the, the game is his. It is his, but we know it's not going to work out for him. It might work a little bit, but it ain't going to work out. I said, Rock, you are cold-hearted. I don't want to say it on here, but I know you like to thank yo. It's don't thing, but lean a little bit closer, see that rock. Smells like boo ooh, 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 yeah. Rock really smells like boo ooh. Yeah. It's like, damn, rock is a very cold-hearted individual. I'm scared of rock. 
Um, she has too much power. And this is what Kanye was telling us. No one man should have all that power. And Rock should not have this much power. Not calling her a man, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Rock is a. If this didn't work with Kanan, like if Kanan wasn't bought in, what if Kanan said he don't want to be in the game? Then what? You gonna still have him bury your body when he just said I don't want to be in the game? Rock went out there with the sole intention that hey Kanan, I'm gonna convince you that you need to be in the dope game and not be a regular boy. I said, damn, Rock, really? Really, Rock? Think about it, people. You have to be heartless to do what Rock is thinking. If Kanan would have said, Mom, no, I want to go back to Virginia. I can't do this. She was still going to make Kanan bury that body. She went out there thinking that Kanan was going to believe whatever she told. I said, damn, Rock. Manipulation. You look good as hell, but damn, Symphony, run, man, run. Woo. She got you driving her son to protect her son from all the shit she's putting them into. Symphony. Listen to what's going on. She's bringing over, she brought you over to ask for advice on how to make her place look better. Whole time, she's treating you better than her own son. If a woman does that, then you can't do Hey, they kid is they number one. Well, they number one, the kid number two, but then they treat the kid like that. Oh, I don't want to get so weird near that. Because if we didn't get ugly, simply that means Rock ain't going to hesitate to. It's over. Fuck that. I don't care how good Rock looks. I'm gone. Drake said one time is fine for me. I don't even listen to Drake, but I know that's a fact. But damn. Damn. Receptor proof that they use around 91. Yeah, man, I was around and kicking in 91. I was doing my thing in 91. Man, I was, man, hey, that was prime badness in 91. Like I said, I told you I got my wreck and I was out of commission for like six months. Hey, you know, it is what it is. I bounced back. But Rock is a bad individual. So Jimmy doesn't kill Rock like he's supposed to because we had the two family members come out and they were asking to help put the fire together. Jimmy on a beat, boy.